The Volvo EC20C is a compact excavator weighing under 2 tonnes. It's usually used for small excavation works on things like utilities and drains. The model comes in a very small Volvo branded box which is no surprise because the real machine is very small so in 150 scale the model is very small too. There's no information about the real machine and when you pull out the insides the model is contained between a couple of clear plastic formers. Once you separate those then you can lift out the model taking care because it's a small model with some delicate parts so you just need to be a little bit careful as to how you handle it. There's no assembly to do because the model is complete out of the box but there is a small bag of parts that NZG have thoughtfully included. These parts are spares and they include a small beacon light in case one gets broken and a couple of rubber tracks are spares too. It is a tiny model so there's not huge detail underneath but the patterning on the rubber tracks is very good. The tiny track frames are simple but the drive sprockets look convincing. At the front there's a tiny metal dozing blade and it's controlled by a detailed hydraulic ram. The cab is excellent given its size with tinted windows and realistic seals, there are mirrors, lights and a metal grab rail. There's a very nice beacon light on the roof and even a very small aerial behind the cab. On the back of the machine small details have been highlighted by the careful use of paint. Some of the body castings look really good too with grills highlighted and some sharp graphics. Inside the cab the high quality modelling continues with some excellent controls and a textured floor. The tiny boom is modelled well and there's even a protection plate on the main hydraulic cylinder. The small bucket is cast well and it's great to see hydraulic hosing on a model of this size. The connection rivets are also very small and painted so they're hardly visible. Putting the model on the test track, or I guess it should be test pathway in this case, then the rubber tracks do roll. You have to apply a bit of downward pressure onto the model, but they can be made to roll. All in all, a good job's been done with the rubber tracks, and of course if one breaks, then you've got the spares which NZG have helpfully provided. In terms of the other digger functions, well, if your fingers aren't too big, then you can certainly turn it and it turns smoothly. The little blade at the front is controlled by the cylinder, and that goes up and down quite nicely. And the range of movement on the boom, the arm and the bucket really is pretty good for a model in this scale. So it can be posed realistically digging down into a trench and it can also be raised reasonably high to load a low sided truck. There is another feature of the digging mechanism which has also been implemented well by NZG and that is the ability of the arm to be offset from the straight ahead position so it can dig to either side of the cab. This is one of the smallest 150 scale models that you're likely to find and despite that NZG have done a very good job with it. It's well made and it's nicely detailed and the features all work fine and although it appears a little expensive for such a small model it's certainly good enough to be highly recommended. Mm -hmm.